May really is one of the best times to come and visit Barcelona. Weather-wise, you've got average highs at 74 and the lows getting down to about 61. It's the perfect time to come explore the city, get around, and really soak in everything that Barcelona has to offer. And yes, for those of you with those questions about getting over to the beach, you can go over and you can start to get into that water. So if you're coming over here to Barcelona this May 2023 and you're looking for the best dates, activities, and events that are going on in the city, here's my Barcelona city guide. But before we get into any of those specific dates, remember that mid-May usually tends to be the start of high season, so you'll see a lot more people in the city. Keep that in mind at the time of making any of those reservations. One of the big things that I always say is that you should make some of those reservations for some of the bigger sites ahead of time. Not only is it gonna save you a lot of time, but it's gonna save you money as well. Now let's get into what's going on here in May. The first day of the month, we've already got our first holiday, and that's because May 1st is International Workers' Day. So you're gonna have the day off for pretty much everybody here. Now, if you're coming over and visiting, there's not too much to worry about or really not so much going on, but things you need to keep in mind is that you might find some different demonstrations, especially around the city center in places like the Plaza de San Jauma, and you will find some store hours that might be varying. But don't worry, not too many of those tourist attractions are gonna be affected. You'll still be able to make those reservations and get in and see them. On May 7th, we've got Mother's Day here in Spain. I'll take advantage and wish mine a happy Mother's Day right now so I don't forget. Hi mom, love ya. But I'll wait on the flowers for a little bit later. May 11th is the celebration of San Pons, who's the saint of herbology and beekeepers. Since the Middle Ages, you might find some different markets around the city selling different herbal medicines. But since 1817, the biggest market has been over here in the Raval off of the hospital street, just outside of the old hospital, where you'll find different cheeses, honeys, even marmalades, and all sorts of different artisanal products. If you do find yourself over here during the celebration, one thing that I would definitely recommend is jumping inside the hospital, which has now been transformed into a library, but it's got a nice interior patio to sit out. And there's a small secret bar called El Jardí, where you can sit down, relax, take in the beautiful sun, and have a drink. And after the madness of three Clásicos in a month, we've got the Barcelona Derby. That's right, Espanyol is playing against Barcelona, the crosstown rivalry. Second leg is scheduled right now for May 14th. I'm not sure if it's set in stone, it might change, so keep that in mind when you're making your calendars. But if you're looking to catch a game, especially a good one between those two Barcelona teams, over at the Espanol Stadium, you know I'm gonna be there, so I might catch you there as well. May 18th is International Museum Day, and museums around the world get involved in this initiative where they open up their doors, and there's always a special focus. This year, the focus is gonna be more on sustainability and well-being. Obviously, the Catalan Museums and the Barcelona-based museums get involved as well, but they don't celebrate just on May 18th. It really goes from the 13th to the 18th where you might find different exhibits or even open doors, free admission to get in. The best part is that on May 13th here, we have Nits de los Museos, or the Night of the Museums, where you can have entrance into some of the best museums around the city until one in the morning. Now this is a really popular event and one that you should definitely take advantage of because many people do to visit some of the best museums all around Barcelona, but expect longer lines. And one thing that I would do if there's a museum that you specifically want to get over to is make sure you can make a reservation in advance. I remember years ago going over to the Makba, which is just behind me right now, had a lot of fun and being in there for later hours, just a little bit different as well. But one of the things we had to do was wait in a pretty long line. And if you're here between May 13th and the 21st, you've got Girona's Temps de Flores. This is the city's flower festival. And this is a trip that I would recommend any time of the year. But realistically, if you can get over here, the city is even more beautiful during this week. There's also a lot of people, but it's a great time with over a hundred different expositions of all sorts of flowers and decorations all throughout the city. It's really something to see. I've done some videos about Girona and what you can find over here, which I definitely recommend checking out if you're thinking about coming over. But remember, between that 13th and the 21st, definitely want to be over here. One of the best things about it are that private spaces like you can see behind me that are usually closed off to the public are open for everyone to see. And if you're here on the weekend of May 20th, we've got the neighborhood festivals for the right side of Barcelona's Eixample district. And this one's really cool because it's actually called the Fira Modernista. It's Barcelona's modernist fair. If you're coming over and visiting Barcelona, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of this modernist architecture that has really taken over the entire city. And this weekend is your chance to really get into the 
action where they've got all sorts of different events surrounding that idea of modernism. It's a festival that's been going on since 2005 and while it won't be at its original location this year because of a bunch of construction, it's going to be right where I'm standing right now outside of the Casa de las Punchas. Every single year they have an artist or an architect that they celebrate and this year being the 100th year anniversary of the death of Luis Domenech y Montané, they have a special celebration for him going on. And one of the things you should be doing, not only in May, but all throughout 2023, is checking out some of Domenech y Montané's works. You've got the Hospital of St. Paul and the Music Palace, among other buildings, all throughout the city. There's always all sorts of events and activities going down around the Gothic Quarter, but they don't always tend to be neighborhood-specific events. Things like the Festas de Santa Alaulia, or even what you've got with the Festas of La Merced, are really the patron saints of Barcelona and take place in the very city center. So what you have this year from May 20th to the 28th are the Festas del Barrigoti. You've got Barcelona's Gothic Quarter neighborhood festivals where you'll see a lot of action going on around the neighborhood here. It's really a newer thing that's been going on since about seven years ago where the neighbors got together and wanted to start to celebrate. Remember that these neighborhood festivals really are for the neighbors, the people that live in these areas, but feel free to jump in on the activities. You'll find quite a bit of things going down at the end of the month. I spoke about it in my March video, but I didn't have the exact dates, but now we do. May 26th, 27th, and 28th, we've got Barcelona Beer Festival. This is the biggest craft beer festival in all of Spain. We've got over 600 beers going to be here for some different tastings, all sorts of different concerts, contests, everything. But you should definitely make your way over to the Fira de Barcelona where they're going to have all of these special beers for you to try. One thing that I would definitely recommend is Basque Land, which is a special brew that's made over in the Basque country here in Spain. They've got a nice beer this year. It's called Mucho Fresca Barcelona and it's made specifically for the Barcelona Beer Festival. I tried it the other day. Really, really good. Remember that this video is all about what's going on here in Barcelona in the month of May. But if you're still planning that trip and want to know the 10 things that you need to know before visiting Barcelona, click on this video next and get better prepared for that next trip.